1.45 gigahertz will go away! Alright everybody, the smoking Android here. Uh, thanks for tuning in again for another episode. Um, so today I wanted to be the first, or hopefully the first, um, to put out a video showing the uh, latest update uh, for CyanogenMod Mod 7 for the Motorola Atrix. Also, a nice little uh, treat from Fox123, uh, his 1.45 gigahertz kernel hack. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. <clears throat> I haven't really noticed too many huge updates on this new release. I don't know if it's still called a beta or what. Um, I know on XT8 forums it's B and then it's got a little N and then it's got um, some other numbers and from what I understand that's like developer code. Um, so I don't really know but uh, it looked cool and obviously it's brand new because it was updated October the 25th. Um, I have noticed, like, like I said, I, there's not too many things I've noticed as of yet because I have only been running it for about a little over 24 hours now. Um, first thing that I have noticed, however, is uh, the on-off animation. Um, call me crazy, call me crazy, but I swear to God, it's just a little smoother, at least for the off animation. Let's take a look here. You'll see, it just, like, right, right, I'll show you. Ready? Right there. Right when the line starts to close across, it just looks smoother, faster. I, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, uh, again, again, I don't know if uh, I'm going crazy here or not, but um, I swear to God, the lock screen is a higher definition. I don't know. I'm probably just crazy thinking it's, you know, because it's that new novelty of having something new on the phone. Um, anyways, uh, what else? Um... Hmm, I haven't, like I said, I haven't noticed too many things, um, I'm sure, like I've put out a couple of Sanage and Mod videos, um, kind of showcasing some of their features, um, and there's, I came across a couple of things where you could tell it was definitely, um, I, you know, I, I wasn't able to use certain features directly attributed to it being a beta, or alpha release for that matter, um, but now that this is out, it seems like I've, and, and God, I probably should have written this down, but um, I've come across a couple of things that I've noticed um, that are working now that weren't working before in the, in the previous beta, um, but I can't remember what they are. So, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the battery smooth. It does seem a lot smoother. Um, I have been looking in the change log, I just, I cannot figure out what it is that they've changed. One thing, however, I have noticed on XDA forums is a lot of people are complaining about the screen brightness, the, uh, the auto brightness. Um, now I don't know if that's, uh, if that's for the, um, the, the native, the, the Android, uh, screen brightness, um, steps at all, but, uh, apparently what it does is, um, and, and I've noticed it myself, <clears throat> When it's starting to, uh, I, don't, I don't know, dim in brightness and get brighter, the, the increment steps that it takes, um, it's not smooth. Like, it's not, a, it's not a smooth transition where it's just kind of, oh, and it's dark, and it's brighter. It's like, chunk brighter, chunk darker, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> um, so that's something that I, I've noticed a lot of people complaining about. Um, what else? Do, do, do. Uh, oh, I'm going to show you this because from what I understand, if I can remember uh, the Android version before was 2.3.5, now it's obviously you can see 2.3.7. And we've got our newest kernel, 2.6.32.39 from Fox. Um, this is the 1.45 gigahertz overclock kernel hack. Um, some people have had some issues with it. Some people haven't. Uh, here, here's the perfect example of the uh, the, the Cyanogen mod version here. See that B something something N? Yeah. Uh, so anyways. <clears throat> um, some people have said that they've noticed some random reboots. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've been running it for, like I said, a little over 24 hours now. And I have experienced one uh, random reboot. Just one. As far as I'm concerned, 
uh, for the speed increase, um, it uh, it's worth it, um, especially if it's just one random reboot. It could have been due to something I was trying to do. I know I was trying to power through a couple of things, had some um, extra programs running in the background, uh, apps running in the background, so that, that could have been the cause of it. I don't know. I'm not a developer. Um, I am just a uh, tester, I guess. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so that the one random reboot that wasn't really a huge issue for me, um, you know, it, it just seems so much smoother. It's just I don't know. Like I was using the 1.3 gigahertz overclock kernel before, and again, this is you can find it on XDA forums um, in Fox 123's uh, thread with the overclock kernels. Um, you can find the 1.3 gigahertz now. There is it is specific to CM7, so don't just go in there, download the 1.45 gigahertz, and throw it on if you have CM7. Uh, you have to look for the one that's labeled CM7 uh, kernel. Uh, so, with that said, um, yeah, it's just it, it is smooth the 1.3 than the 1.3 gigahertz that he had out before. Some people are saying it's not. Um, you know, I guess it's user specific, but. Uh, for me, it's it's been working phenomenal. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a benchmark test for you guys. Um, because last night, I did a couple, and um, man, I was really impressed with the results. I don't know if it's directly attributed to the kernel itself, or if it's a combination of the kernel and the new CM7 update. I don't even know if we call it a beta anymore. It says B and then N. What the hell does that mean? Anyways, uh, I wish they would be a little more clear in um, what kind of a release it was, including the change. Like, I think there's a website you can go to that the, that the dev team has uh, for checking out all the change logs and things like that. Um, but I could care less about looking into that. Unless one of you guys want to leave a comment below telling us all the new updates and change log for this new version of CM7. That would be amazing. Uh, but anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to start with um, N22. Actually, I'm not going to do that because it takes fucking forever. Uh, but what I will do is show you uh, a gallery um, snapshot of what it looked like when I was... Um, where the fuck is it? Better be in screenshots. There it is. Okay, so... Do -do 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 -do. Aha! So as you can see... This is the score I got on, uh, shit, what, I can't even remember which, uh, benchmark this is, anyways, that's the score I got, oh, uh, it's not N22, I think it's Quadrant, that's Quadrant, right guys, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's Quadrant, because Linpack, and yeah, they look different, okay, so, this is the Quadrant score I got, Let's see if I can, fucking light, get out of here, you're gonna screw everything up, come on, anyways, yeah, five, almost 5,000. 49.46. That's pretty goddamn good, if you ask me. <clears throat> um, especially compared to, like, the Samsung Galaxy S, which everyone's comparing the Atrix to these days, it seems. Um, okay, let's check out the next one. Check that out. 63... Oh, shit. 63.80. Do, 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 trying to get the right angle. Oh, wait. Yeah, 63.80. Um, at the time that I took this benchmark, it actually put me in the top 20 uh, for benchmark phones. The top being, it was like fucking 8,400 or something like that, which is pretty substantial. And it, it, there was actually, um, I couldn't even tell what phone it was because, you know how they've got like these, uh, you know, like the, the phone aliases, if you will, um, just like that, you know, like the the uh, Atrix is known as the M860. Um, I couldn't tell what the other one was. I don't remember. I don't care. All I know is the Motorola Atrix, ladies and gentlemen, is in the top 20 with Cyanogen Mod 7 Beta. I think it's Beta, like we talked about earlier. And the 1.45 gigahertz um, overclock kernel from Fox123. Uh, so that's pretty damn impressive, guys. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. My device, 6380, the Samsung Galaxy S2. Yeah. Now, I have a viewer that um, I've been talking with. I think it was... Uh, listen, bro, if I say your name wrong, I really do apologize, but it was Kartik? Kartuk? Kartik? Anyways, uh, he's a good buddy of mine. 
Um, I do talk to him through uh, email on my Gmail and uh, the YouTube private messages, and um, we've been talking for a little while now. I helped him out with some issues he was having before, and um, he's actually a pretty smart kid. Um, he's, he, some of the things he's starting to say are starting to impress me and, and confuse the hell out of me, and, and I consider myself um, you know, a pretty well-rounded uh, Android user. Um, anyways, so he's gone with the Galaxy S2 now in his email that he sent me the other day, laughing at me. Saying, uh, what was the joke he used? Um, have fun with my out of day tricks, <laughs> you prick. <laughs> Anyways, um, you go ahead and have fun with your Samsung Galaxy S2 Zo Luzo, yeah. Because as you can see, I have a higher benchmark, and from what I understand, this is with the benchmark of the um, the 1.5 gigahertz kernel hack that they have for the Samsung Galaxy S2. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, but, uh, needless to say, guys, that is a goddamn impressive benchmarking score right there. Um, so, screw everyone else, Moto L Atrix rocks. Look, it's even got better than Moto Zoom. Um, I mean, that's, this is really impressive, I'm liking that. Um, if you do have higher benchmark scores, uh, let us all know in the comments below, because, uh, I am really interested to see and hear if anybody else has loaded this kernel onto their, um, onto their phone. I will be posting a link in the description below for not only the Cyanogen Mod 7 and the 1.23 uh, gigahertz kernel hack care of Fox123. So thank you very much to those guys, the dev team and Fox for creating these files for us. And um, that's about it guys. I just wanted to make sure that I would be the first cool guy on the block to post a video about this and show you some benchmark speeds. Um, interesting little story. The benchmarks that I took was during my battery being about 30% and um, my 4G was on. <laughs> so, with all those things, oh, and I had some other shit running in the background. So this is actually with my phone um, uh, multitasking and, you know, having battery be low and all that other shit. Oh, and I had the kernel, the, uh, the governor set to power save. Power save, okay? Now, why don't you guys... Go ahead and try with the um, performance governors. Do the uh, benchmarks and leave some comments in the uh, in the in the comment section area below. And um, yeah, we'll uh, compare notes. All right, guys. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and tuning in. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Um, it really does help the channel. Kind of uh, tells YouTube that I give a shit. And tells me that you guys give a shit. <laughs> so anyways, guys, the smoking Android, sign.